Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Subproject, and let's jump right into it. So I found this toy on Aliexpress, and it is a crab spider thingy, and uh, it moves when you put a headband on your head, on your head, fuck. Uh, and uh, depending on your level of concentration, it moves faster or slower. So first, uh, it's getting dark. So uh, first, let's strip off the wires from the motor and wire up to a voltmeter and see how the voltage changes and uh, what is the range. Just see what we can do with it. So as you can see, while I focus and unfocus, the voltage changes from zero to almost four volts, which is awesome because Arduino pins are rated for five volts maximum. And this means that we can measure the voltage coming out of this module with just an analog pin. Important to mention though, because we're getting a negative reading is negative voltages, and I connect everything correctly, black to black and red to red, it means that the wires coming off the module and going into the motor are not what you would expect them to be. Because if we get negative voltages, it means that the black wire has higher potential than the red wire. It's not a problem, it's just that when we connect everything, we need to remember that the black wire is what we're hooking up to the analog pin, and the red wire is basically our ground. Alright, so I connected the uh, black wire to the analog pin 0 and the red wire to the ground. I also put a capacitor, 470 microfarads uh, capacitor across the two because the signal was jumping up and down. They were overall trends like this, uh, yeah, like this. But uh, that signal was too perfect to process and it was just easy to add a capacitor. And now we have a nice signal which shows levels of concentration. I need to clarify something. What you see now is the actual output of the module. Even with the capacitor, the signal is still jumping up and down. What you saw earlier, this, is the average of the last 30 readings. Looks much better, doesn't it? Yep. Um, now we can do whatever we want with it. But Alex, I hear you ask, what are you gonna do with this power? What are you gonna do with this magic of mind control? And I've been thinking about it for a while, and I came to a realization that there is no better thing to control with your mind than cat ears. So I went to Amazon, found the cutest pair of cat ears I could, and with bells, animal cute hair band for a women girls party, of course. So then I got the ears, I took the rubber caps off, and then took the ears off. And when I opened them up, there was a really convenient hole for motors or whatever mechanism I want to put inside. And yeah, I really like this moment. Looks promising. Now, I tried different mechanisms, these are plastic cards, and uh, you can see that it's not quite there, this is a, a straw, and this mechanism is a combination of a straw and a plastic card, but it's too complicated for this project. So I decided to go with a simple servo and a stick uh, format, just put it inside, and yeah, that looks great and moves fine. Um, I'm satisfied. So this is the basic schematic. Our brain module, if you may, connects to the ground with the red wire and to the analog pin 0 with the black wire. Then we just add a switch and uh, connect it to a battery which comes with the toy which is 3.7 volts. Then through a switch we connect the battery to a step up voltage converter which uh, brings the voltage to 5 volts so we can power the motors and Arduino. And motors wire up more easily. It's just digital pin then 5 volts and ground. If we can see Arduino now, uh, analog zero, we know what to do with that one. 5 volts, uh, ground, nothing particularly interesting. 
Then digital 3 and digital 4 will be the motor pins, the servo pins. And D5 is the switch pin. Uh, I'll talk about it later. But with this schematic, I had a problem. I don't think the battery was powerful enough to power the Arduino. So I would recommend using a higher voltage battery, like 7.4 volts or maybe 9 volts. And then um, making this a step down converter and then powering the module with these 3.7 volts and powering the Arduino with the initial 9 volts or 7.4 volts. And because I didn't do that, I had to power the Arduino with the USB cable, but it's alright. This is how it looks like, uh, all wired up, soldered up, and squashed together. The motors connect over here, if you can see that. Yes, and these are the ears with the motor wires coming out of them, and these are the connectors. Right, um, right now you can see uh, three switches, the first one turns on the brain module, the second one turns on the Arduino, and the third one ended up doing nothing. I wanted to do to make two modes in this project, two modes of ear movement, but uh, the other mode ended up looking um, not that good, so I just used the first one. Uh, Alright, let's see how it looks like. So if I try to focus... Come on. It's hard to be focused for a long period of time, but... And zone out. Yay! Yep, that's it. 